trusty Colonite 845. But as you can see, it is solid. So I'm gonna go into the kitchen, grab some hot water, and be right back. So I let the insulator wax soak, soak in the water for a few minutes. Now it's completely liquefied, ready to go. So I got my hex applicator pad. I'll use that for all the major areas on the car, except for, I don't know, around the door handles and such. And for that, I'll just use this traditional foam round pad to get the small nooks and crannies. So I'll go through, do this on. You want to use as little as possible. Basically go around the whole car, allow it to dry, and then just buff it off with the microfiber. So there's no fun stop around here, so you're going to want to go be as careful as possible. You only need a little bit. So just put a tiny bit on the applicator. That is all you need. So just put a little bit, a couple drops like that will last a whole panel. figure out exactly which lights I want. I know some of the fluorescent lights are better, but so I just have to refill a little bit. That would be enough for the whole hood. I'm going to do two layers of this because I'm hoping to get me through most of the winter. Then I'm going to try out Adam's wash and wax. I think I'm going to put in an order for some of that stuff. It has a little bit of silicon in it to help make the car last longer. I'm going to also put colonite on the headlights and the red stripe in the grill, but I'm not going to put it on the windows. I'm going to rain next that. So I'm going to cue the montage, go through the rest of the car real quick, then we'll be wiping it off shortly. So now I finished applying the insulator wax to the rest of the car. Let it sit about 10-15 minutes, so I'm just going to go around about the same way that I put it on and wipe it off. If you put it on thin, which is all you need to do, if you put it on any, any thicker, you're just wasting product. Um, if you put it on thick, it's going to be tough to get off, but if you put it on nice and thin, it's almost as easy as the power lock, men's or power lock to get off. A little bit more laborious to buff, but still not bad whatsoever. But the shine, the beating, it's just awesome for the price of the wax. You're not going to beat it. This is some awesome stuff. So it comes off pretty easy. The whole hood's taking me, what, 30 seconds or so. Put it on thicker, it is going to be tougher. So I am going to do a second coat. I'm not going to videotape that. I'm going to give it, I don't know, half hour or so. I'm going to clean the glass on the car, then come back and do a second coat. Just basically making sure that between the sealant and the wax, that the entire car is covered. A little bit redundant, doesn't really add much more time, but 
does help a little bit. So, so now I'm going to zoom through the rest of the car and we'll come back and be complete. Thank you. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments about this, just let me know and I'll try to respond to the best of my knowledge.